Hey guys, Jerry, backyard homesteader. Um, sorry I'm out of breath, I just born running out of the house, forgot my camera. Anyway, it's time to make some heat for the greenhouse. I know there's a thousand videos on there showing you how to make a barrel stove, but I've got another way of doing mine, so not basically the stove, but the way I'm going to use it. So, uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I got a barrel stove kit that's like, I don't know, $36 or something like that at Home Depot. I just basically put the cover over top of the barrel and uh, mark it out and I'm getting ready to cut it. But I'm not going to have you sit here and listen to all the noise that it makes. Uh, let me get it cut out and I'll be right back. Okay, before I get too far, got the hole cut, I'm out in the door now, and uh, let me get that mounted, and I'll get back with you when I do the legs and uh, the pipe attachment thing we do. Anyway, it's a pretty simple process here so far. I use a standard jigsaw to cut the barrel. So. Anyway, I'll be back when I get done with this door. Good morning, guys. It's day two of uh, building my barrel stove. I keep forgetting to pull my camera out. So anyway, what I've done is I set my legs up here, mark my holes, drill them out, and I'm starting to bolt them on. I still got to do the bottom one. Let me get them mounted on here and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, there's one leg. Now I'm going to come down here and mark it. One more. Put it about right. About right there. And most people I see go through this hatch here, tighten their bolts, but I have a, a little plan here. Hopefully it'll work. I'm going to cut out from my vent and see if I can reach through. That way it's a whole lot shorter distance. Anyway, on we go. Okay, leg two is on. Next I'm going to put a seal around that door. They don't come with a gasket kit, but I bought one. Just to make it burn a little bit more efficient. So let me get my kit out. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, now we're going to put a vent stack on there. And I'm not sure. But I'm going to <clears throat> show y'all. Use this concrete board to make me a box to set the stove in. And I'm not sure if it will clear through here. So I'm able to open this vent. So I might have to leave this one open. It's going to be one of the pipe. But we'll see. So let me get this installed and then I'll come back to you. Basically all you got to do is just mark your holes like I've done. Mark your holes, drill them out, and uh, put it in there. So I'll be right back. Okay, holes are drilled. I got a starter pipe from my uh, starter hole from my uh, flue pipe right there. And here's what I'm cutting my hole out with. Got a metal blade on it, cutting blade on it. And I would advise you if you decide to do this, have a couple blades, extra blades on hand, because I can pretty much guarantee you'll break one. Anyway, let me drill this or cut this out, and I'll be back to mount it. Alright, there you have it. Blue holes cut. Run the holes up. And there you have it. Just a matter of mounting it now. So, again, let me get this done and I'll be back. Alright, there you have it. Give that seal a chance to dry good. 
for about another hour. And I'll come back out here and we'll we'll do our first burn. And uh try to box her in. If I can beat the rain here. I'd hope so. See you in a bit. Hey guys, as you can see it's a pretty nasty day today. So I'm gonna work in my garage today and hopefully get the box built for the stove and get some heat in the greenhouse by this evening. So let me frame this box out and I'll show you as I go. And hopefully we can get some heat in here. So anyway, I'll be back. Alright, I got my first sheet of Duroc set up. And I measured the diameter of the barrel and I'm going to cut that out. So that'll go on the front there. That's the only hole that'll be cut other than the top for the flue. Um, and this will allow me to work the front of the stove. So anyway, let me get this cut and uh, I'll be back. Alright, we're doing our first burn. Burn all this paint off. I've got the box pretty much built over there, so I gotta let this burn and get the paint off and then let it cool down and get it over behind the greenhouse. But uh there it is. Let's get it going good here and I'll get back with you. He's cooking now. What you can see, the paint burning off. See it's starting to steam there. Should get black here in a little bit. I gotta get out of these fumes. Anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick. Just wanted to show you it's starting to blacken up, so I'm gonna burn the paint off. The other thing I wanna show you is how efficient it's burning. See how you don't see no smoke coming out of that chimney? I've always heard that when you ain't got smoke coming out of your chimney, it's burning efficiently. So, it should last me a couple of days with on, a, on a full, full uh, barrel. So, uh, I can't wait to get it hooked up to the greenhouse. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that. campfire join the campfire girls just wanted to show you <laughs> sorry got carried away just wanted to show you the flame ain't she pretty all right this is the box for the stove it's going to sit in it's going to sit about right there i still got to cut the lid and all for the stack and And uh, get the stove put in there and we'll have some heat. All right, folks. There she is. I strap my pipe down so the wind don't blow it over. And we'll build a box around that tube right there. I'm going to try one tube first and see what happens. I got a fan on the inside pulling from in there. So we'll see what happens. But she's burning. So, thanks for watching. God bless.